everybody in YouTube land, uh, James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying up a gorgeous, very classic looking Stefano Ritchie tie. If you've watched my channel before, you hear me talk about the classic ties, the quintessential ties. They're the ones with the diagonal stripes. And this uh, Stefano Ritchie definitely doesn't disappoint. It's an orange tie with a navy blue and a French blue or a light blue diagonal stripe going across. And there's a little bit of a ridge on the orange in between the orange and the blues. You can't pro you probably can't see it on this uh, camera, but on my Instagram you'll see close-ups of the tie. Absolutely gorgeous tie. When it comes to quality, uh, I don't think you can beat Stefano Ricci. I mean, it's definitely in the high end of price. It's also the high end of quality. Um, you know, price-wise, these are going to be similar to like a Keton. Uh, however, no offense towards Keton because they make a wonderful product, but I give honest reviews. The Stefano Ricci ties actually feel a little bit better. They just feel like they're made better. Um, you know, this is a very thick tie. It's plush, and it's super, uh, super soft. The, the silk is just malleable, uh, just a phenomenal product. Now, though I still love Catan, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not against Catan at all. They make phenomenal product as well, but I just don't know that I felt a better tie ever than Stefan, the Stefano Ritchie's I already have and this brand new one I just got in. Let's tie it up and see how it comes together. When you're dealing with a thicker tie, you have to make sure you leave plenty of length because it takes more of that uh, silk to create the knot. The knot's going to be a little bit bigger. So I'm not wearing a button-down shirt. I went with yellow today. I have a yellow button-down shirt. This is actually a brand new SAE shirt I just got in as well. It's the first time ever wearing it. Uh, and I went with, a, with, a, with not a button-down shirt because of the thicker tie. But anyway, let's find our spot. Because it's such a thick tie, it's probably going to be a lot of material we need here. So I'm going all the way down to here. And Stefano Ritchie does make their ties pretty long, so we got plenty of slack on this end. Let's tie it up. We take the long part of the tie over the short part, and then we come up, under, and through. Then we come around behind, and the key is keeping everything nice and tight here. Around, up, over, down, and through. Now while I'm doing that, I'm holding the knot this entire time to keep it nice and tight. Uh, that, a lot of times that second loop is where that your tie kind of gets off, and there's no recovering once that happens. So across the checkpoint, everything looks like it's coming together. Now we want to come out over the front, create a little pocket here, behind, up, and through. Man, this tie feels good. Then we'll push the tie down through that pocket we just created. Hold the top of the pocket, pull the tie down and through. Now we're going to pull the uh, edges down, and we're going to hold on to the knot. We're going to pull the long part, and that's where this, this knot starts to tighten up. So we hold the knot, pull on the tie, get us a perfect little triangle. Then we hold the knot, we pull on the short part to bring the, the knot up to our neck. And we want to check for our length. We want the tip of the tie, this part of the tie, to be somewhere between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. And we are dead in the middle, which is absolutely perfect. So I did a good job judging that, uh, you know, the, the, the length and everything else. Let's pull the collar down. It's a brand new shirt. I always have my new shirts dry cleaned before I wear them. And they put some extra starch on this collar, and it's a little stiff there. So anyway. <laughs> Um, let's tidy it all up. We, we, want, we don't want any gap right here, so we're going to take and just um, manipulate the tie till we get it where we want it. We want it to be right in the middle of the collar. Now this is create a little bit of a dimple here, which I'm absolutely cool with. Uh, some people prefer the dimple. To me, I could take it or leave it. The most important thing to me is that the knot is perfect, and as you can tell, that knot is absolutely perfect. So um, let me uh, tuck the back into the keeper. Again, Stefano Ritchie does a good job making a long enough tie um, where that you can pull this through. If you look at the slack, even though we've got us a perfect, I have a 16 and a half inch neck, so it's not a really small neck. But uh, even though I tied a perfect double Windsor or full Windsor knot, look at all the slack I have on the back side of this tie. You know, I, I really appreciate when manufacturers do that. Now, the look is going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. I'm going through it with you right now. Today we're wearing a blue suit by Amerna Gildo Zinnia, um, you know, otherwise known as just as Zinnia. It's a gorgeous blue suit. It's a really nice uh, brighter blue. It's not a navy. I do have a couple Zinnia navy suits as well, but I just feel like this color pops better with this tie. We're wearing a yellow shirt by Isaia. We're wearing a gorgeous orange and blue striped Stefano Ricci uh, tie. Uh, all of this is Italian. The, uh, the suit, the, uh, the shirt, the tie are all Italian, but I'm wearing a French belt. I went with Hermes today. Uh, it's a uh, orangish brown uh, belt. I thought it would really look good with uh, with this tie. And we're wearing a pair of Salvatore Ferragamo uh, light brown Oxfords. Now, 
on my Instagram, which is Tie Guy James Acres, you'll see close-ups of the knot, uh, selfies of me wearing the outfit, close-ups of the belt, the shoes, the tie, um, the whole outfit staged before I put it on, as well as some pictures of me with the outfit on. So check out my Instagram. Uh, if you like my videos, please click uh, subscribe and like. Guys, I am ready for work. Thank <laughs> you.